a hi uh, in this video i will show you how we can provision azure infrastructure using terraform infrastructure as a coding and deploying via github actions okay uh, and to know more about how you can set up the um, the github account uh, and and the um, how we can configure the github repos uh, github actions and and the required secrets okay to know more about in regards to these uh, uh, environmental configurations please do watch my uh, previous videos uh, where i have explained uh, everything from the scratch okay and do please do uh, subscribe my uh, channel that would really encourage me a lot okay with that let's get started okay so um, as you see in my screen so i have uh, my setup being ready now okay so uh, I have already configured my GitHub account. Um, I have also, also uh, set up my GitHub actions. Required secrets are been already been configured. Okay, and uh, from my repo, I have taken my um, HTTPS URL, and and from this VS Code, I have uh, locally cloned my, cloned the copy um, uh, from this VS Code. Okay, now uh, and and after that, I have taken a, a a copy of my main branch. Okay. And I named it as a future branch. Okay, so so let me give. Uh, so when I talked about branch, let me uh, quickly give some brief about it. So I have only two branch. One is main branch, which I will denote it as a production branch, and uh, future branch one. So future branch one, I will denote it as a development branch. Okay, so development branch is the branch where I will do all my types of codings before it moves to the production. Okay, so let's make the environment as simple as that. Henceforth, I have created only two branches. Okay, now. Um, so now I'm making changes. Okay, I'm now making changes uh, to provision some infrastructure in the in my Azure account. Okay, so that's the reason this uh, this demo is focuses on. Okay, as you see, I am currently uh, in in my future one branch. Okay, so in the future one branch, I have only three files. So okay, so the these three files makes the complete um, uh, DevOps. Okay, complete DevOps I can say, which is nothing but uh, infrastructure as a code via DevOps method. Okay yeah so as you see here in, in the um, uh, as i explained earlier as well so i'm using the github actions to provision the infrastructure okay so in the in uh, in the github action uh, so when you create a github actions okay when you create a github workflows by default uh, automatically it will create a two uh, subfolders one with the name called dot github um, and the for backward slash and workflows okay under the workflow folders you can keep or all your workflows okay nothing but Keep, you can keep or all your um, yaml files which will which will help you to provision the infrastructure okay um, so here in my cases i have created uh, two files uh, one is um, terraform apply.yaml and other one is terraform plan.yaml okay so let me uh, give you a brief about uh, these what for what purpose these uh, two yaml files are being created one is plan okay so plan is uh, as you see this is the plan file okay so uh, the name is plan and as you see here the condition okay so when this file will be invoked so I want this file to be invoked every time I push something on my future branch, nothing but my development branch. Okay, why I'm doing so is uh, because uh, when I do some development, okay, well, let's say I have I have been assigned with uh, some task, okay, and I need to provision, I need to code, okay, I need to do an infrastructure as so a coding for that task, okay. So when I do the code uh, to 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 pursue my task, okay, to do my task. Um, so that needs to be tested okay whether the code is right whether the code is is, is provisions code is is capable of provisioning the required infrastructure without damaging the already existing infrastructure so like that so in taking um, in in considering that as a aim i have just um, taken um, the feature branch as a target because um, okay because of because so that i can evaluate my changes okay that's the reason uh, one file i have dedicated completely for the feature branch okay so this is nothing but evaluation branch you can say our plan but in Terraform, we will call it as a plan branch. Okay, plan. Okay, so uh, let me uh, just briefly walk you through the below coding parts. Okay, that is uh, jobs. Okay, I have only one job. Inside the job, I have created multiple definitions. That is the Terraform run on the Ubuntu latest. Okay, and um, here I'm setting the my environment. So environment is nothing but these are the parameters which will be used by Terraform to establish the connection so that it can do the task on the um, on the azure account or on the subscription okay so um, arm client id arm secret is nothing but your spn id and the spn secret okay so these secrets and um, uh, and the ids are being stored in the github um, um, github settings inside the github settings there is a secret so there i have stored it okay henceforth i am just um, referring those uh, values being stored there okay to know more about uh, these uh, configuration how you can do it uh, please do watch my previous videos where i have explained everything on this okay with that let's go to the uh, let's go to the next okay next code part 
uh, in the steps okay in the steps i have multiple steps okay in general so i have um, indeed five steps one is the uh, checkout the other one is that it will set up the terraform uh, then it will do the terraform in it uh, check the terraform format and and just does the terraform plan it is not applying okay make a note that it is not applying anything so that's the aim of um, this um, this yaml file okay this uh, this action um, this github action file okay so uh, what its aim is once i do some changes in my um, dev branch in my future branch and if i publish it to the uh, upstream branch then automatically it will just evaluate whether the coding which i have done for infrastructure as a code are correct or not okay so that's the aim of this uh, terraform dot plan file and it will be invoking only on the future branch okay that's a note with that let me go to the next file okay so next flight file is, is the same replica of the uh, the original again uh, the plan file but only minor differences okay the first difference is here i'm, I'm giving the condition okay so the when to this file should run okay this file should be invoked uh, when there is a push operation happening on the main branch so main branch i have denoted it as a production branch right so so when somebody pushes the code onto the uh, main branch okay so uh, the henceforth this file will be called in okay this file will be called and as the name denotes okay i have made it as a terraform apply so this file is being made to provision actually provision the infrastructure on the azure um, azure environment okay that's the reason the name is given um, okay whereas the other parameters like environmental setting uh, jobs are same as same as the plan okay uh, and the inside the steps as you see i have skipped the plan because the plan is already been done now i directly want to just uh, kick in the um, terraform apply and just it has to provision the infrastructure okay so that's the reason i have just uh, at the last i have added the uh, terraform apply so this is the only change um, between this plan and apply okay and the major change is uh, this is nothing but um, uh, production release okay this is nothing but production release definition via github actions that like that you can understand similarly this is um, this is like a um, um, github action plan before you release to the environment okay so and, and each of these definitions are targeting to different branch okay now uh, let me tell you one more thing um, so um, so uh, one more condition here is you make sure that uh, the production branch that is the main branch or master branch should not be directly committed okay it should be committed via or it should be pushed via pull request only that's the main rem, main aim and the main um, assumption behind this uh, this configuration okay yeah with that um, i'm done with the uh, workflow explanation let me take you to the brief about the main file okay so this is the core code file which does the infrastructure provisioning okay this is a, a terraform file okay here everything is terraform okay i'm 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 mainly focusing on the uh, provisioning the infrastructure cloud infrastructure especially here azure okay so uh, provisioning the azure infrastructure via using the uh, terraform uh, infrastructure as so a coding uh, technologies okay as you see um, let me quickly walk you through this main.tf file so here it contains a provider okay that is the general provider uh, for azure rm and um, so this is the terraform block okay let me uh, give a brief about what this terraform block okay as the name says this is the backend configuration block and this is a pre-created okay so pre-created in the sense uh, terraform works based on the state file you might be knowing till now okay you might be aware of this thing okay so what is the terraform state file is terraform keeps the history of all the configurations being provisioned by a terraform okay and it will keep a it will keep in a file called dot tf state file okay so as you see here so this is something like a man this is this infrastructure okay as the, the selected infrastructure where i'm cre i have created a resource group storage account inside the storage account i have created a container okay so these are like manually created um, infrastructure okay so let me show you uh, from my um, um, from my subscriptions okay this is the subscriptions where i have targeting the github actions uh, based uh, um, infrastructure provisioning okay so this is my um, this is my uh, rg uh, so which is pre created by me which is manually created okay it, this is common for all the infrastructure as code setup okay where you will create a, a one rg which will uh, store your storage account with uh, indeed uh, in turn that storage account will host your um, uh, host your uh, terraform uh, state files okay so so that's the reason uh, all being created here so let me quickly show you that how the terraform file looks like so so this i'm in the storage account i will let me go to the container um, so inside the container, okay. So inside the container, as you see here, um, one second. So here is the container. So inside the container, I see. So this this is the container which I have created uh, manually. That's it. I have created only three resources manually. One is I created RG, 
and I denote that RG uh, you can denote that RG as a um, Terraform backend configurations you can select that okay and nobody should have access on the subscriptions make it a note and uh, nobody should disturb that policy the disturb that storage account containers okay nobody should disturb the content uh, the the blob files which are present uh, which are present inside the um, uh, inside this container okay nobody should uh, manually touch it it will be managed by the it will completely managed by the um, terraform okay so this is the file which automatically gets created um, by the terraform okay so that's that's all about uh, this block with that um, with that that's it okay so below all of the codes are normal um, terraform um, code which is meant for azure inf uh, azure resource provisioning okay one is for um, resource group creation okay so with the name so with this block will mean for resource group creation and after that this block it's it's i'm creating a one storage account after that i am again creating one more storage account so i'm indeed i'm creating the two storage account inside the inside the um, the the above resource group okay yeah so uh, so that's it okay so this is what the my complete um, infrastructure as a code um, um, set up for um, provisioning the uh, infrastructure via github actions okay so let me make some let me add some um, um, some some command so that i can show you the demo how those uh, two uh, terraform uh, how do how how those two workflows will um, work okay so let me uh, do command so let's say test okay so i just commented one word test okay and um, let me save this file so once i save this file um, i need to uh, stage it and commit it okay so let me stage it and uh, make it as a test change i will just add a command with the name such test change test change uh, six okay so i'm just committing it okay so uh, yeah so this is uh, this is what how this is how you commit via uh, visual studio code okay to know more about these operations if you are not aware please do watch my previous videos where i have given all the required uh, resources uh, through if you go through those you will be understanding the complete uh, functionality of visual studio code so once the commit is done as as this uh, so okay this synchronization button says that there is a one change needs to be um, um, need to be pushed to the um, upstream branch okay so what is the upstream and the what is the local branches upstream is nothing but the uh, the branch which has been hosted in the github which is nothing but which sits in the github portal okay um so uh, this is the future branch which i am coding is nothing but my local branch okay from my laptop okay now if i click on this button what it does is it will sync the configurations the, the sync of the changes been done here with the um, the uh, branch which sits in the Git, github uh, okay uh, github repo yeah, so I have clicked on the uh, sync button. So now the change, this change will be pushed back to the future branch, which sits in the, um, which sits in the GitHub. Okay. It will take some time. Um, so let me, uh, meantime, let me take you to the GitHub repo. So this is my GitHub repo. Okay. So let me refresh it once again, um, so that it will, uh, it will catch up the latest changes being pushed by this, um, by this one. Okay. So as, as, as this as this terraform uh, hyphen plan dot yaml file being defined like when somebody pushes to the future branch then automatically this uh, this uh, github action workflow should be um, kicked in okay so let's see if that uh, action got kicked in okay so i will take you to the action so as you see here yeah so that that action is being kicked in now okay so terraform plan so nothing but so under under action i have two um, actions as 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 i shown in the uh, previously so one is terraform plan and terraform apply so terraform plan is now focusing on the um, it 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 points to the uh, my um, uh, it points to my uh, future branch okay that is um, okay so if i if i open that it will tell like what actually it going to do okay so let me open the plan stage okay where actually it it, it calculates about the plan okay um, so if I show you down, yeah. So here it says, okay. It, it clearly says if you go through these um, these logs, you will understand that what actually uh, the Terraform will going to do, uh, okay. If you if you release the um, if you release the apply um, work, okay. So it says it going to add it, okay. I have added uh, the um, I have added uh, um, so here, okay. Here in the main.tf file, I have added uh, storage account creation two, okay. So I have added this uh, command later, okay. That's the reason it says. I'm going to add um, so uh, I'm going to add a storage account to the um, Azure infrastructure. Okay, so that's what this change and and the summary is uh, a plan says it will add one uh, one changes it will add the one resources into the subscription and it will do the zero changes and zero desktop. Okay, so that's all about um, uh, that's all about the uh, merging changes to your future branch. Okay. So once the change has been merged to future branch, now it is time to create a pull request. Okay, because as I as I said to you, 
nobody should should merge your production branch that is the main branch um, nobody should commit to the main branch directly okay it should be done via a pull request okay a pull request merger so now let's create a new pull request okay so um, let's create a new pull request against a future branch against a master branch our main branch okay yeah so once um, uh, once i click on the button create pull request okay it will tell you to choose the branch okay um, yeah so yeah so so yeah yes correct correct so pull request is already been created okay so pull request is um previously i have created the pull request as you show so let me uh, take you to the um, file changes okay so let me show you the file changes okay um yeah here it is okay so um as you see here okay so this is um it's, it's what this is what it says okay this is just a demo okay so as you see here um so there are changes okay so there are changes in the um in the main.tf file okay it says main.tf file has multiple changes one is i have added this line and uh, i have removed this okay so uh, red line is nothing but um, uh, updation green line is nothing but um, addition of new changes okay so uh, so it, in the right side uh, it says it going to add these many lines uh, to the master code uh, okay so that's what this is what the 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 right side file is the what the final file which will appear in the main file okay so with that um, so let's go to the uh, pull request again and let's start the merger okay yeah so this is the um, this is the pull request being created um, by me okay um, yeah so now it is time to um, uh, merge the pull request so merge the pull request is nothing but i am merging the changes from uh, future branch to uh, to uh, to main branch okay so nothing but uh, from the development to um, uh, to the production okay so that's it so i have just completed the merger okay let's see if the github actions kicks in the apply stage okay okay uh, so yeah here you go so the apply stage okay so the apply stage is now kicking in okay it started to uh, it started okay so automatically that um, uh, github action workflow got started okay so now so now um, yeah, so now what it does is uh, according to the plan okay so the the plan whichever we have seen in the previous steps the same plan will be executed by this uh, workflow and it will provision the infrastructure in the automation in the in the azure uh, azure account okay yeah so it will take some time because it has to um, it has to create the um, resources um, after establishing the connection to the um, uh, azure account okay so let's wait for some time and uh, see if it able to if it can create the um, uh, azure resource okay azure resource as as explained in the um, in the terraform um, plan stage okay plan action okay so actions and plan actions yeah once once this uh, stage gets completed successfully we should be able to see a two storage account under a resource group okay so that is the uh, confirmation of um, uh, the workflow uh, worked successfully okay so yeah here is say here you go it got successfully created okay so as you see here so let's let's go and see the logs of um, um, terraform apply stage okay so um, yeah here it says like if you go through the logs it's like a self-explanatory okay and so here you go so it says apply is complete and it has successfully added uh, uh, one resource that is the storage account okay and so this is this is how uh, you will create um, this is how the you will provision the infrastructure using the github actions okay so this is nothing but a pure devops way of um, uh, way of maintaining your infrastructure as a code using terraform okay so that's what this poc is meant for uh, showing you as a demo okay so let's finally let's evaluate if that resource got created okay so um, this is my subscription and let me refresh the uh, resource group so this is the resource group where i have created two storage accounts so one is two and three yeah that's it yeah so that's it it has successfully created the storage account as as it was explaining in the um, terraform um, uh, plan stage okay so as it explained in the terraform plan stage here it has successfully created uh, um, uh, created the second resource uh, second storage account as well that's it that marks the completion of this demo um, so with that uh, thank you all please do uh, again please do subscribe my channel uh, that would really encourage me a lot okay thank you thanks a lot